Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the artotus, a plant. Now this is an artotus and the thing is, is that the other name they give it is the African daisy. Now the funny thing is that we've done so many African daisies, but the name the African daisy is given to so many geniuses and so many different types of species of daisies. And especially I find it very common to call it an African daisy, especially when it is native to South Africa. And this is where you get the artotus or the African daisy. So what is so beautiful about these African daisies is that when they do flower. So here I do have an orange, orangish yellow variety. I also have a pink. And then also I do have a, a sort of reddish color somewhere in the compound. So what I did is I basically put all the colors here because I wanted to see them. And so we will see them once they do start sprouting. And I do see some buds flower buds coming up but this is basically the African daisy so welcome back to my channel my name is Alice and I'm the red soil gardener <laughs> Now, what happens is, uh, once these flowers do open up, is basically they open up during the day when there is sun, and in the evening they close, which also adds to the drama. I just love these sort of flowers. Now, what is the requirement is, with these daisies, they like full sun. They're actually quite drought resistant, they're pest resistant, which is great, and also disease resistant. But at the same time is that when you do water it, do your finger test, a little bit of water moderately is okay, but they can go for a long period of time without any water. Now the next thing, what they do like in terms of soil, it's got to be a really good well-drained soil, but they're not really fussy. You can grow them on sandy soils or you even poor quality, but they do survive. Remember, these are the sort of plants, the daisies that you find out in the outback in South Africa. So they are pretty hardy. The thing about these plants is that they're great as super spreaders. So what happens is, is once you do plant them, is that their roots, as it grows, it just spreads and continues to spread. So they're great for areas where you want it, especially slopes, where you want it to, to sort of trellis down your slope. These are perfect for it. So basically, the zone is between 9 and 11. This is where we consider this as a perennial. But outside these zones, you have to treat it as an annual. Now, the other thing is that with this plant, it's best to do your propagation when it's just warmer. It's early springs, once after the last frost, do your separation and we will show you how to propagate this plant. But then what happens is that you will get a blooming season right up to fall. But in between the summer, when the summer gets really hot, they don't really like that hot heat, so they stop blooming. So don't take it as if it is dying or whatever. It's just a normal thing that these African daisies do. And once the temperature goes down and gets cooler, then you get your blooms again. So once you do get your blooms, all your flowers are growing, and then they suddenly get, you know, they go through the whole getting spent. Do try to deadhead it because you will get more blooms. The other thing is that because the, uh, the blooms are quite tight knit, I mean at the base, at the crown, is that they just don't fall off. So you deadhead your blooms in a way also to tidy up your bunch. Otherwise you'll get all these, what you call it, spent flowers and they do go dark, so they don't look very attractive. So I normally would come in here, uh, deadhead them for the blooms and also as, as a cleaning technique to make your flowers look lovely. So basically propagation of our dear, lovely African daisy, our, our tortoise, is very simple because all you have to do is you can do a water propagation so you go into your plant and get a root stem like this and then just put it in water and you see once you do put it in water is you do get rooting look at that and these come from the root stem So once you do get your root stem and it's actually um, 
rooted as we see here, all you do is either put it in another pot and then work yourself to a bigger pot, or else what I did, I just simply planted it. And you can either just plant it or put it in water, depending, and or else put it in soil propagation and later pot it here. Now, the, another thing what I've done is, as you see here, now which one should I go for here? Let's go for this one. Is This is a soil propagation using the root stem again. And if I can pull it out, you could, okay, some of them haven't done too well, but some of them, you could actually see what is happening. So this is a root stem and everywhere you get um, the node is where you get your babies. These are babies, potential babies, all from a root stem. So propagation goes really fast. So as you see that that basically propagation is so easy and basically is that even if the root stem doesn't even have um, the rooting, you could still take this piece and stick it in the soil and it will take off. Now the other way I'd like is that sometimes it's better to actually take the stem root and lie it horizontal In that way you will get the shooting going up like that. So the way I would actually do this um, if I am planting it is I just get the root stem, strings of it and just put it under the soil, cover it, water it and then you'll get all these little babies shooting out from the root stem. Another way to do it is um, you could actually just take those individual babies because here you could see so many babies just pull one individually and then stick it in the soil and you will get rooting just like this one So basically propagating the African daisy or the artotis is very, very simple. I've showed you different methods. So one would be the water propagation where you do put it in water and it does root. And with this, you can automatically put it in your pot or your hanging basket. The second method we've gone through is just using the root stem and you do see that it does, uh, you do get a lot of babies and try to put it vertically, in that way at least you save time. And another method is when you do take the babies from here and then you individually put it in your growing uh, propagation uh, container and once you do many of those it will root as we've seen. And with that, you can start your collection. So thank you so much, fellow gardeners. Thank you for joining us in this episode. I hope you've learned something. Don't forget to uh, like and share and also subscribe to our channel. Invite your friends, your family. Also follow us on Instagram. DM me, I'm always there to answer. And also make your comments, I'm always there to answer. So thank you so, so much. And do get yourself one of these daisies. And you can use them in the garden, hanging baskets, um, rock gardens, anything. <laughs> thank you so much and have a lovely day.